The W. M. Wrigley Jr. Company, known as the Wrigley Company, is an American chewing gum, Wrigley's gum company founded on April 1, 1891, by William Wrigley Jr., based in the Global Innovation Center GIC, in Goose Island, Chicago, Illinois. It is wholly owned by Mars, Inc., and along with Mars chocolate bars and other candy products makes up Mars Wrigley Confectionery. It is the largest manufacturer and marketer of chewing gum in the world. The company currently sells its products in more than 180 countries and districts, maintains operations in over 50 countries, and has 21 production facilities in 14 countries including the United States, Mexico, Spain, the United Kingdom, France, the Czech Republic, Poland, Russia, China, India, Japan, Kenya, Taiwan. Taiwan, Australia, and New Zealand. Topic: History. In 1892, Wrigley Jr. began packaging chewing gum with each can of baking powder. The chewing gum eventually became more popular than the baking powder, and Wrigley's reoriented the company to produce the gum. Wrigley's gum was traditionally made out of chicle, which was sourced largely from Latin America. In 1952, in response to land reforms attempting to end feudal working conditions for peasant farmers, Wrigley's discontinued purchasing chicle from Guatemala. In the 1960s, Wrigley's changed the composition of its chewing gum from using chicle to synthetic rubber, which was cheaper to manufacture. Wrigley's announced the closure of its Santa Cruz, California manufacturing plant in April 1996. The plant had been built in 1955. The 385,000 square foot manufacturing facility was put on the market in October 1996 for $11.3 million, or about $30 a square foot. In 2005, Wrigley purchased Life Savers and Altoids from Kraft Foods for $1.5 billion. On January 23, 2007, Wrigley signed a purchase agreement to acquire an 80% initial interest in A. Korkinov for $300 million with the remaining 20% to be acquired over time. On April 28, 2008, Mars announced that it would acquire Wrigley for approximately $23 billion. Financing for the transaction was provided by Berkshire Hathaway, Goldman Sachs, and J.P. Morgan. Berkshire Hathaway held a minority equity investment in Wrigley until October 2016. The Wrigley Building on Michigan Avenue, one of Chicago's best known landmarks on the Magnificent Mile, was originally the company's global headquarters until 2011, when it was sold to an investor group that included Zeller Realty Group as well as Groupon co-founders Eric Lefkowski and Brad Kewell. The company has been headquartered in the GIC since 2012. In 2016, Mars announced that Wrigley would be merged with its chocolate segment to form a new subsidiary, Mars Wrigley Confectionery. The new company will maintain global offices in Chicago, while moving its U.S. offices to New Jersey, in Hackettstown and Newark, respectively. Topic. Corporate leadership Topic. 1891–1932, William Wrigley, Jr. In 1891, 29-year-old William Wrigley, Jr. came to Chicago from Philadelphia with $32 and the idea to start a business selling Wrigley's scouring soap. Wrigley offered premiums as an incentive to buy his soap, such as baking powder. Later in his career, he switched to the baking powder business, in which he began offering two packages of chewing gum for each purchase of a can of baking powder. 
the popular premium, chewing gum, began to seem more promising. Wrigley also became the majority owner of the Chicago Cubs in 1921. 1932–1961, <inaudible> Philip K. Wrigley After the death of William Wrigley Jr., his son Philip K. Wrigley (1894–1977) assumed his father's position as CEO of the Wrigley Company. Wrigley is most well known for his unusual move to support U.S. troops and protect the reputation of the Wrigley brand during World War II, in which he dedicated the entire output of Wrigley's spearmint, double mint, and juicy fruit to the U.S. armed forces. Wrigley launched the Remember This Rapper ad campaign to keep the Wrigley brands on the minds of the customers during times of wartime rationing. Wrigley's PK brand was named after PK. Wrigley. Topic: 1961 to 1999, William Wrigley III. In 1961, Philip K. Wrigley handed control to his son, William Wrigley III, 1933 to 1999. Wrigley led a strategic global expansion through the establishment of Wrigley facilities in nine new countries. On June 26, 1974, a Marsh supermarket in Troy, Ohio installed the first barcode scanning equipment. The first product to be scanned using a universal product code UPC barcode was a 10-pack of Wrigley's Juicy Fruit Gum. This pack of gum is now on display at the Smithsonian Institution's National Museum of American History. In 1984, Wrigley introduced a new gum, Extra, which followed the new trend of sugar-free gums in the U.S. Wrigley also assumed control of the Chicago Cubs after his father's death in 1977, and sold the team to the Chicago Tribune in 1981. 1999–2006, William Wrigley IV William. Bo. Wrigley IV 1963, following the death of Wrigley III, his father, led the sugar-free gum campaign across Europe, Australia, Spain, India, and China. In 2005, Kraft Foods sold the Life Savers and Altoids businesses to Wrigley in exchange for $1.5 billion as part of a reorganization plan. Wrigley led the establishment of the Wrigley Science Institute WSI in 2006 to study the oral health benefits of gum chewing. The WSI investigates the effects of gum chewing on weight management, stress relief, concentration, and oral health. 2006–2008, William Perez On October 23, 2006, William D. Perez 1948 succeeded Bill Wrigley as CEO. He was the first person outside the Wrigley family to head the company. In 2007, the company debuted Five Gum in the U.S. The Five Gum brand was marketed using cinematic TV commercials portraying what it feels like to chew five gum. Perez led the efforts of improving slimmer packaging slim pack with flavor improvements across both Extra and Wrigley brands. 2008-2011, Dushin. Duke. Petrovich Dushan Petrovich succeeded Perez almost immediately after Mars, Incorporated's 2008 purchase of Wrigley. 
In 2009, Wrigley's Global Innovation Center received the LEED Gold certification through Wrigley's commitment to global sustainability. In the 2010 Olympic Games in Vancouver, British Columbia, Wrigley was the official confectionery supplier of the Games, in which the company sported Olympic-themed packs and products. Topic. 2011 present, Martin Ridvan Martin Ridvan became the president of the Wrigley Company after Petrovich. He is responsible for the company's worldwide strategy, operations, and business performance. Topic: <inaudible> Subsidiaries. The Wrigley Company Limited, Amural Confections Company. Northwestern Flavors, LLC Topic. Changes in gum In some countries, xylitol is used to sweeten gum instead of aspartame. By avoiding sugar, the chance of tooth decay is lowered, since the sugar otherwise used may turn into acid after chewing the gum. It is also claimed that in chewing, it may help to remove food residues. Xylitol-based products are allowed by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration to make the medical claim that they do not promote dental cavities. <laughs> <laughs> New product Wrigley temporarily halted production and sales of its new Alert Energy gum as the Food and Drug Administration investigates the safety of caffeinated food products. <laughs> <laughs> Brands <laughs> Gum United States Juicy Fruit 1893 Spearmint 1893 Double Mint 1914 Friedent 1975 Big Red 1975 Extra 1984 Winterfresh 1994 Hubba Bubba Orbit reintroduced 2001 Orbit White Eclipse 2001 5 2007 Canada 5 Double Mint Excel Excel Mist Excel White Extra Extra Professional Extra Professional White Hubba Bubba Juicy Fruit Friedent The Wrigley Company Limited, A Stover, Plymouth, Ucare Waves Hubba Bubba Double Mint Extra Altoids Juicy Fruit Tunes Wrigley's Spearmint Lockets Skittles Starburst Additional Products and Bransaltoids Big League Chew until November 2010 Bubble Tape Cool Air Eclipse Excel Hubba Bubba Life Savers Gummy Savers Life Saver Minis Life Saver Fusions Cream Savers Skittles Starburst Sugus Lockets Tunes PK Big Boy Big G Solano Tata Pimpom Boomer Topic See also Wrigley Building 
Wrigley Field, Chicago, Wrigley Field, Los Angeles, Wrigley Institute for Environmental Studies, Catalina Island, Wrigley Rooftops, Wrigley Square, Wrigleyville.